So when it comes to smartphones, somewhere between budget and flagship lie mid-range. And with people becoming increasingly dissatisfied with how phones kind of progress from year to year, budget and mid-range are no longer a dirty word to a lot of these phone manufacturers. Cue the Pixel 5, Google's newest entry into that mid-range stable of phones. And another example of a big manufacturer trying to get some of that sweet, sweet mid-range money. When it comes to the Pixel 5, there are a lot of good things I can say about it. The screen is great, the cameras are pretty good, the fact that Google made this phone with both the environment and the consumer in mind. But this video isn't about positives. Nope, it's all about negatives, baby, because I found that negatives sometimes helps people make a better buying decision. So today we're going to take a look at four cons that the Pixel 5 has that could be possible deal breakers to someone looking to purchase the phone. So Let's get started. Some quick background. The Pixel 5 was first released on October 15, 2020. Google went with a very simple design here, just offering two colors, just black and sort of sage. And that actually brings us to our first con, and that's going to be the build of the phone itself. The Pixel 5 didn't do anything risky with the design. It has the small hole punch camera in the front, basically a full screen display. Google went with this kind of mentality that one size fits all, for this phone concept design, you're only going to be getting a six inch display and that's the only size that they have to offer. So if you're someone that's looking for a bigger phone, looking for a bigger display, you're kind of out of luck. So staying with design, Google actually says that the Pixel 5 is made from 100% recycled aluminum enclosure, which is basically plastic. The phone is basically plastic when it really comes down to it, which is really not a big deal for some, unless you're looking for something substantial or substantial feel to the phone, then this can actually be a pretty big con. Now you can always point to Google wanting to keep the cost low. So they went with, shall we say, less than stellar materials. I guess you can also say the same about the processor. At the time of its release, the Pixel 5 had the Snapdragon 765G, which was last year's processor in 2020. So in 2021, it's last last year's processor. Now, normally I don't see much of an issue or a big deal with having last year's processor because current processors are usually pretty overpowered for what the average consumer is going to do with it anyway. But starting off with an older processor might not be such a great thing for some people. So yeah, I wasn't able to actually come up with a pretty good segue into my next con. So I'll just say that this phone doesn't have any expandable storage. There is no expandable SD drive in the storage. The phone does come with 128 gigs of memory, which is a lot and should be good enough for some. But if you hang on to your phone for a really long time and you take a bunch of pictures and you take a bunch of videos, you can actually fill that up fairly quickly and not being able to expand your storage later on can actually lead to some headaches. So speaking of headaches, my last con is going to be the price tag itself. You're looking at about six. 699 for this phone that's made of plastic and has last last year's processor. You can find some mid-range that costs less and some that have better internals that cost about the same price. So you have options is what I'm trying to say. And price for me is definitely a feature. And a high price tag with not a great spec sheet can be a pretty big con for some people. So just to recap, the design is basically one size fits all, pretty much plastic, old internals, not able to upgrade the storage and a high price tag. So I guess the final question really relies on you. Are any of these deal breakers for you? If so, go ahead and comment in the comment section down below. If you have a deal breaker for the Pixel 5 that I did not mention in this video, go ahead and comment in the comment section down below as well. I would love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, and share the video out because it definitely will help the channel and help the community as a whole. I'm going to go ahead and throw up the Pixel 5 review, a more in-depth, more look at some of the positive things about the Pixel 5. I'm going to throw that up here and below that is something that YouTube believes you'd enjoy watching. Guys, thank you so much for checking out the video and as always make sure to stay safe out there and until I see you guys next time, peace out.